Yo, what is going on guys? Hess here, CollectiveKicks.com. Wanted to bring you guys a video, show you guys a couple pickups that we got recently. I say we because the wife actually ended up getting a pickup. And actually, I ended up picking it out for her, which is kind of crazy. Uh, because I have no idea what I was doing when I got these uh, right here. As well as this thing uh, right here. But, got a package from Franolations, if you don't know who that is. Uh, he owns a company called Sandal Boys. And that is what is in this box. And then I got a Nike pickup here. And then this crazy suggestion from you guys that I ended up um, replacing my wallet with this one right here. So let's go ahead and get started. Kind of just a bunch of randomness that I ended up picking up in the last week or so. So without wasting too much time, let's go ahead and get into the video and show you guys what we ended up getting. Uh, first things first, we got Santa Boys Worldwide right here. Some stickers, so I'm going to add these to my sticker collection. And the homie friend, thank you man for uh, thinking of me. As he sent me this cool package, which is the second one that I actually, I think I just uh, hit my dog over there. Whoops, sorry dogs. Um, this is the second one that he ended up giving me. I still have the other one actually, but it was a size nine. It's a little bit too small uh, for me. And this one is uh, the size 10. So this one is actually gonna fit much better. Really, really nice box though, as you can see. And you can see it has a logo here. It says Santa Boys on the inside of the box. Comes in some nice packaging as well. Packaging on this is definitely like an A+. plus. Got a, uh, a dust bag that these come in. And this is actually pretty similar to the first color the way that I ended up getting, which was this, this actually this like first, I think, pair or second pair of sandals that they were releasing. And um, I still have them and just they were too small. In fact, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go grab them right now. And boom. Fresh from the other sneaker room, and uh, basically this is the first pair that he said. You could see the discoloration in the box because they had it in the sun, and it looks very similar to this colorway right here. But again, unfortunately, this color, this one was just a little bit too small for me. I tried them on, and I was like, oh man, they're a little too snug. So this is the other one. So those that were wondering a difference in the color, this is the difference. This is the salmon colorway, and this is the pink colorway that they first released. I actually really like the salmon colorway better, so definitely a, uh, a cool look. And then it has a little bit of a design on this part of the, the shoe as well. So definitely cool. Shout out to Fran for what they're doing over there and what he's doing with the Sandal Boys uh, company. I'll link it in the description if you guys wanna go check out a pair for yourself. They do have a couple pairs in stock right now. A lot of them that they release, they release some limited ones and some really cool ones that end up getting sold out really, really quick, but they do have a couple uh, different colorways uh, on their website right now from what I just saw so I need to probably just give this pair away since it's a little bit too small it's, we'll actually just give this pair away in this video since they're too small for me they're a size 9 and uh, basically hopefully this will go to a person that's a size 9 all you have to do is hit the thumbs up button and then leave a hashtag sandal boys x has kicks sandal boys with a z I'll have the exact hashtag in the description for you guys you can copy and paste just thumbs up the video, leave any comment that you want, and then hashtag Santa Boys, uh, X has kicks, and that's it. So now that we got that out of the way, we got into the next thing right here, which is the pair of Hunter boots that I ended up picking out for the wife. She wanted a pair, she linked me a pair that was 150 bucks, and I was like, let me just look around a little bit, see. And these boot socks, these socks were $50. I couldn't find them for any cheaper than that, but they go together. I don't know how these things work. It looks like it would be upside down, but in the box, you could see the glorious boot that she wanted. I have no idea why she wanted these. I think she just wanted these so she can stomp around in puddles with our son. And he's a master at puddle stomping. Check this video out right here. That's probably why she wanted these. These are definitely some heavy duty rubber boots. And uh, I don't know much about this company, but these things were $115, which is kind of crazy. This combo right here was more expensive than my Nikes that I got in this box right here. So when she was like, can you please get me a pair of these Hunter boots? It was a no brainer for me. I was like, absolutely. Obviously I spent enough money on sneakers. I just put this one into my sneaker budget for the month. And I was happy that she actually wanted something, not sneakers, but at least something. So I showed you guys that. And speaking of that, there's going to be a top five video in the future for top five fall sneakers. 
Um, a lot of you guys have been asking for it on my other top five videos, so I will be delivering that video in a week or two, so expect that. Uh, but we should probably do these. Like, I mean, I don't know why we don't have these rain boots. It'd be rad to have a pair of boots like these. Anyway, the next thing here is something that you guys recommended, and big shout out to you guys on Twitter. For those that don't follow me, I, I definitely try to engage with you guys a lot, a lot more than I can in the comment section of the videos, but I try to get back to you guys as often as I can in the comments as well. But I, I mentioned that I needed a new wallet and a lot of you guys just sent me ideas for different wallets. Some of you guys sent me pictures of your other wallets of what you guys actually own. I like a slim wallet and this is what I ended up getting. It's from a company called The Ridge Wallet and basically this is a crazy looking wallet. And it comes with some other hardware in here that when you put it together it's actually just a screwdriver that actually screws this thing together. This is the wallet. It is a crazy little wallet, carbon fiber on both sides, and then it has a little money strap on here. I could have done a clip, but I just wanted to do the little strap right there so I can throw down some money underneath there. And then it, it fits just a handful of cards. So I only carry about four or five cards on me at any given time, and that is it. So it's just a really small, compact wallet. Like 95 bucks is a lot for a new wallet, but carbon fiber, and it was something kind of fancy and new looking and I was like you know what I gotta treat myself every now and then so I ended up going with it and that's what I ended up buying so the last thing I wanted to show you guys you guys are very patient thumbs up to you guys for being patient this is the the biggest thing this is a pickup that I ended up getting from Nike store just kind of a random one that I did not expect to get and I didn't know I didn't even know this was releasing until a little bit ago and then when I saw it I was like wait a minute are they just flashbacking to like March or something like that. Is this Air Max day all of a sudden or what's going on? And then they ended up dropping and Again, I have no idea why Nike ended up dropping this one after they already released these like a handful of different times over and over again But I can't complain because it's actually a pair of shoes that I've really wanted. I just basically strike out every single time they release and ooh, Look at this box This new box is flames Ah, Nike man, why is it? So why is it when, when you get a new box and a new style of box, everything is dope again? Like, I don't know. This box is legit, though. This box is super, super nice. I love the fact that they redid this box and made it special for the anniversary joints right here. And you can see if you can read that label right there. That's what these are. This is Air Max 1 anniversary, and it was expensive at $140, but I was like, I definitely wanted this colorway and I didn't want to pay resale on the previous releases and so I was like you know 140 let's go ahead and try I had two different sneakers account and I actually hit on one of them so that's how I ended up getting these kind of cool it has some branding at the top it says uh, anniversary joints right here it doesn't say anniversary it says Air Max 1 anniversary and here we have them this is the Air Max 1's in the OG colorway I'm definitely a sucker for it. The fact that I fell for this and buying these, like, I mean, it's an OG colorway. It's one that I didn't have in my collection uh, through the many, many years of collecting. I've never had an OG uh, colorway of the Air Max 1. And it's kind of like a staple. I have the Air Max 90 in the OG colorway. I definitely need the Air Max 95 in like that neon green colorway again, because that was like the OG one that I remember. I used to have it and then I got rid of it a long time ago and I just need one of those ones back. And then I'll have a nice little shelf of just the evolution of Air Maxes in the backdrop. But got to start with this one because this is the one. And this is the one that Tinker Hatfield started it all on. And if you guys didn't see, I actually did a History of Air Max video on my channel. I'll link it in the description as well if you guys want. In my opinion, it was a pretty well done video. It was one that took me a lot of time to create, but I had a lot of fun doing it. And I needed to keep doing more videos like that when I get some more time. But it has kind of a felt little material around it. And then it has the Nike Air hand hang tag with some extra laces, Nike Air on the inside, and just all in all like a classic, classic shoe that uh, is a must. It just stings a little bit that these were 140. They could have been like 110 or 120. And these just dropped in the middle of the week. I was not expecting it or anticipating these releasing. So kind of crazy that I ended up all of a sudden getting a pair of shoes that I've been wanting for a really long time. Anyways, I'm really happy that I ended up picking these up easy to get and I'm glad to add these to the collection probably go on the back wall as soon as I get the rest of them I'll be looking for the 
Air Max 95s and the 97s in the OG colors that I want as well fairly soon because I just want to have that little Air Max history. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Have you guys heard of Hunter? I'm not sure. I've never heard of them, but they seem to make really nice boots. Shout out to Fran for the sandals. And again, if you guys want to enter the giveaway for his other pair that he sent me last year, go ahead and check out the description for the rules on that. And shout out to those that mentioned the Ridge wallet. Much appreciate you guys out there for that. That is the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching this week's haul. We'll catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace, guys. Oh, yeah. While I have you, a uh, little bonus section for those that wanted to stay. Shout out to you guys. Pat yourself on the back and high five to you guys. I wanted to touch base on a comment that I've seen a couple times here and there where people are like, Hess sold his collection. Now he's just buying a bunch of sneakers again and blah, blah, blah. I sold a lot of my sneakers. I didn't sell my collection. I sold a lot of stuff. Um, and it was just, it was like a good experience to be able to do so, but I've told you guys in the past already, and even in those videos, I'm not stepping out of the game. I'm still buying sneakers that I want and I'm doing so on a budget. And that's the most important part. The fact that I'm actually budgeting for everything. I'm not spending all of everything on sneakers, all of the extra money that I have every month. I'm not spending that all on sneakers. I have just a budget on it now. So just wanted to address that comment that I saw in a couple of the other videos. But thank you guys for watching and staying for the end of this video. Kudos to you guys. Catch you guys for some more videos soon. Peace.